we're going to create the saucer, which is going to be our stand-in for the USS Enterprise, inside of Adobe Illustrator. If you don't have Illustrator, don't worry. I'm your friend and I have the saucer already ready for you to go inside of the Work Files folder. So for those of you who do have Illustrator and you want to check out this technique called a 3D Revolve, here we go. Now the most important thing is we want to work in the pixels unit. We don't need inches here because we're going to be dealing with the screen. Now we want to work with something that's going to show the ship in a pretty decent size that we can scale down. So that's why I've chosen something around, you know, seven or eight hundred wide by six hundred high. I'll click OK. And we're going to create a path using the pen tool. But I'm going to grab my ruler first by pressing Command or Control R. And I'm going to drag out a line somewhere on my document like this. So we can have a place to put the points so they match up properly. Grab your pen tool here. And let's go ahead and turn off the fill color. We want to deal with the stroke only for now. So let's go ahead and we're going to click right here. And then we're going to click and drag our mouse to create the top of the saucer. We're going to click right here and we're going to pull just a little bit like this to give it that little curve. We're going to come over here, click and drag down like so. And then we're going to click right here and we're going to drag. Now for those of you who've never ever used Illustrator, please check out the Adobe Illustrator courses at the VTC website. You'll learn how to master this pen tool because it is quite scary for a lot of people. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and deselect by grabbing my regular old black arrow or the selection tool and I'll click away from it like so. Now as you can see here, I've drawn one half of the ship. Now imagine this thing just going this way as well. I'm going to go ahead and hide my rulers now by pressing Command or Control R. I don't really need to see those. Now with this shape selected, I'll click on it like that. We're going to go to the Effect menu. We're going to choose the 3D category. And we're going to choose something called a Revolve. Now the way this works is, let me go ahead and deselect this real fast. It's going to look at this shape and starting with this axis here, it's going to take this shape and spin it around. So by the time it's done, we'll have a three-dimensional ship. So Effect, 3D, Revolve. I'll move this over down here somewhere. Now generally, the defaults work fine, especially if you draw your curve, which is known as a profile curve, in a way that you think is going to give you the results you want. Now we're going to click right here where it says Preview, and I'm going to cross my fingers and hope it works. <laughs> and there it is. We have our saucer, which could also be a cool hat, or anything else that you need, like a Coke bottle, a can, or whatever. The idea behind a revolve is you have to see it in your head as cut out. What does one half of this object look like? You can create a vase or whatever as well using the same technique. So once again, the defaults work just fine, but if you just want to study this uh, setting here, you see that we have the revolve angle, which is 360 degrees, which is all the way around. We have a cap on it, and if I put the cap to this little guy right here, you, you see that it will hollow out certain objects. But in this case, we want the cap. We can also take our perspective and move it around, and we can see the mesh that is actually generated for us when we use this really cool tool. And our profile curve is over here, and you see that it stays where it is put. The profile curve that you draw stays there, but the effect is simply updated. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that and get my ship back the way it was. Hit OK. And now we have our ship. If you want to change the color from black, simply go to the stroke color and choose something like a gray. And now we have our flying saucer ready to go into Photoshop so we can go ahead and add some shadows and really make this look better. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go to Object, Rasterize. And I'm going to choose 72 PPI, and I'm going to choose the background as transparent. I'm going to have anti-aliased on art optimized for super sampling, so it's really nice. And I can choose a different color model if I want, but I'll keep it on CMYK, and I'll hit OK. This gets rid of the profile and creates a piece of artwork that's ready to go. Then I'm going to go to File, Export, 
and I'm going to save it as the PNG file format. That will retain the transparency in the PNG format so that we can see behind this area inside of After Effects. From there, we're going to take it into Photoshop. So just save it as saucer.png and meet me inside of Photoshop. Once again, if you don't have Photoshop, I also have this finished file ready for you to go.